there's a whole series of uh, studios that's been built around the UK to facilitate what for me is just inward investment. Now, the way I see it is that outside of that state controlled and straight state financed industry or aspect of the industry, what you have is nothing more than a cottage industry. Because when I was trying to raise funds for seeing Rachel, it was really difficult to get anybody to understand what the film was about. And in terms of support from all of those august bodies like Creative England, it just wasn't there. And nor was there any sense of where that, if you wanted private investment, where that would come from. So what you had was a situation, as I've said, it's a cottage industry where people with money who would like to invest in film don't know how to because they haven't been educated how to. So therein lies what is a kind of structural problem, you know, that there is very little means to attract high net worth individuals into investing in your film. It is really difficult. Now, it was already on a slump before we hit the pandemic. So you can imagine what happened with the pandemic. It's mm -hmm. just gone down and down and down and down. And there has been no recovery in my mind from what I see over here. Uh, and I'm not an all seeing eye. So somebody might say, oh, that's crap, Jeff. But hey, what we have is this failure of educating people with money to what to expect when they invest in a film and where where their return on investment might come from and that has not been addressed it's interesting that they're talking about probing this high-end production but they're not doing anything about grassroots investment and independent mm. film 